Alright, well hello everybody. Welcome back to another wonderful day of Charlotte Wars Adventure in Factorio. And this is our New World series. And how are you all doing today? So what's going on going on? Well, if you grab your drink and your tasty treats, we'll start this day and we'll figure out what we're doing. Um, I'm just going to do a quick kind of run around the base here just to see how things are running and where we're using resources. Imagine we're using up these resources because it's ammo. So we will grab from this. So that way we have a lot of it because we're going to need to... Oh yeah, we have these I want to build stuff with. Okay, I think we'll be okay. Looks like we are all topped up. We do need to take care of some more biters, I think. I think we kind of have to carve into these guys up here. We need to work on these. I want to kind of tie into the copper and ore. So let's actually... I have belts. I have this. On. Okay, so let's actually do that. Let's actually drive up to our kind of base up here. I can go around this like so. Zoom in. Oh, almost smashed into that. Are we going straight? Not quite. Ah, come on. Wah! Ah! <laughs> come on. We need to make this road wider. We need five wide. Yeah, five wide will make it perfect, actually. Let's turn this around. Perfect. Okay. Let's build the rest of this stuff. We were using bots with this stuff before. So let's see, like that, like that. Oh man, isn't that amazing? Mm, I just love how that looks. Okay, perfect. And then you can build this one like so. It will run out of stuff eventually. Because we only brought so much. Do that one. I think doing them in grids of 9x9 nine nine is the way to do it, and I think that's it. Yeah. So let's let's right click on these guys to get rid of it. Okay, perfect. So those are placed in there. One, two, three, four. Maybe we'll do a 4x4 four four grid. Here's the train. So what I want to do is I want to tie in this stuff into here. As well as I want to kind of tie in these resources up here into like a loading mechanism down here. Um, yeah, let's just place these and see kind of how we can do this. Because it doesn't really matter. Like that. Like that. Like that. Okay, then we can just bring this belt down. Hmm, like this. Then we can bring this down. Bring this over. We need one of these guys to power them all. all right? Then we need a light. Like so. Then we need power. So let's see. Like that. Um, where would we hook in the power? Let's hook it into this outpost here. Oh, look, biters are coming. Let's do it like that. It doesn't matter. They'll leave these alone anyways. They don't really attack those targets. Let's put some lights in place here. And one over here. So we need to build another power suit. I think we ran into a, ro a roadblock because we're missing yeah, the efficiency modules and stuff, so, which is essentially resources. So, we need to build another one of these over here, basically. So, um, maybe we can position the wall around in such a way, see, let's put a turret here. Actually, let's put them in the corners. Um, maybe like this. 
And then one like this. Like that. Like this. Maybe we'll do it like that. And the one in the middle here. That sounds, that looks like a good plan, right? Alright, and then we can load these all up with fuel. Uh, with fuel. <laughs> with bullets. So that way it, they are protected. Okay, and then we can position these guys all the way around. And we don't have any more. So we need resources. Hmm. Well, in that sense, let us... Oh, what's this? Hmm, did this just spawn? We're going to have to take care of business, aren't we? Hello, folks. So let's give it a quick save game here. Okay, and let's position defenses. Okay, and shift 4. We need more... Oh, run, 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 run. Ah! <laughs> Okay. Shift four, we need to heal. Eat the fish. Okay. Okay. Now it's time to be aggressive. Oh shit. Just need to make sure we have. Okay, perfect. So this base is taken care of. Let's pick these guys up. Boom, bada bing! Just like so. Okay, so this threat is taken out. Uh, let's see where else. We got some more resources up here that we want to tap into. What I'm thinking is just kind of doesn't matter. The system should be able to just load anything. We're going to leave the coal where it is. Um, so we got those set up there. Where are we going to have this loading system here? Hmm. This will probably leave this, this mechanism, which means that I think we'll shorten this. We're going to have to shorten the train. And we're going to change up the way we do all of this. Yeah, we'll have to we're gonna have to change up the way we do it. I think we can reduce it to one train. Yeah, okay. Got more copper here that we can tap into. Let's do a deconstruction order. On all those, look at that. Picking up trees, picking up trees. <laughs> uh, do another deconstruction order. Okay. I want to see how we can place these bad boys. Okay, so that's the edge. So I think that's the edge of everything. So they're two apart, right? One, two, one, two, one, two. Okay, it's going to use up a lot of drills. But see, this is how I tap resources in Factorial. I just make sure we we lay the crap out of all of these. So that way we have... Well, so we know what to expect, right? So we know what the where the miners are going to be, what they're going to do. All of that kind of fun stuff. Um, up this way, this one, and this this one. And then we bring them up. I wish we could see better. Okay, like so. Let's do the same with this side. Oh, we're out. We're out of drillers. Man, we need resources. So let's go to the left of us here. We got a bunch of bullets. We need to take out this stuff over here. And then there's oil deposit here. I'm not sure how we can tap into that. Oh, here we go. Okay, so if we go 
One, two, three. Okay. So let's get them all here. Okay. Okay. One, two, three. Perfect. Woo. Okay. <laughs> One, two, three. Perfect. Pick this stuff. Let's give this a quick save game here. Because, of course, we don't want to have to restart. We've learned our lesson, right? <laughs> oh, there's that guy. Okay. Now it's time to go aggressive mode. Okay. Okay. Um, how do we do that? There's all these little bits and pieces of places. I think there's a turret right here, right? Okay, let's pick this stuff up here. Let's place kind of one, two, three. Okay, let's make sure we pick up any and all turrets. Okay, I think that's all of them. So now we need to figure out how to approach these guys. Okay. There we go. Okay, so that's this base. Uh, we can leave that one alone. That one should be okay. Okay. Um, let's see where is next. We got down here a bunch of stuff. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so. Uh, okay. You can move the line of scrimmage. Scrimmage, or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> okay, so this is... Gonna be an assault. Okay. Okay, perfect. Definitely wanna hop in and join in on the action. Okay, perfect. Um it's probably one, two, three. That's exactly how we'll do. We'll piggyback it with a strip of three. Uh. Okay. Okay, uh. Okay. We kind of are working our way through it. Oh, I'm going to pick that up. We need to pick up some ammo here. Let's pick up some of these. Pick up this. Okay, we need to create a new kind of spot to shoot off from. Okay. Um. Woo! It's a close one. Give me a close one. Hmm. Close, close, close. Pick all this stuff up. Okay, um, need to repair this guy. Ah, shit. Shit, what's going on here? Come on. 
Well, this is going hardcore here. Gonna run out of ammo, I think. Okay. Let's see here. Four. Okay, let's pick this up. Okay. Woo. Okay. Okay, let's kind of backtrack a bit. Going to pick up some of this stuff here. Man, oh man, oh man. <laughs> Look at all these biters everywhere here. Okay, let's pick up some turrets here. Need some ammo. Okay, one, two, three. Alright. Oh, nighttime. Boy, how I abhor you, nighttime. It's cool to have nighttime, but I don't know. For a game. I think that's it. I think that's all of it. Sweet. Okay, there we go, folks. Just handled all of that stuff. What's this down here? It's copper. Uh, we should be able to pick this stuff up. Perfect. Okay. Looks like we cleared up all that mess here. Uh, looks like now everything... We might have to reach down to these guys. Um, we still have these little copper deposits around, so we'll have to kind of double check what's going on with our base. So let's kind of head back and pick up a bunch of supplies, and man, there you go. So there's some more extermination. We used up a whole schwack load of bullets, which of course we figured we would, right? Um, throw those in there and there. So, oh, efficiency modules. I should have been placing those. No worries, no worries. So what will we do? Hmm. We need to shorten the train. It's kind of the plan. So how do we start to shorten it? I think like this. And then we take out this mechanism. And then we take out the other same thing on the other side. Uh, we can put efficiency modules into here actually. Um, 30, 60, we only want to put two in there. Um, how about, is there any mining operations here? Not really, there's all these guys. Um, make them use up less energy since they are worthless pretty much. Maybe they'll pump in more resources because of that. Let's kind of do the same with these two. Productivity might be better in those ones just because they're they're no longer in use. So let's actually hop onto the train and see if we can catch a train back. Let's go to the drop-off base. We're going to have to rename the name of the base too if we utilize this. So let's kind of make the trip all the way back. Our car is up there, of course. And here we come. We have to change this. I want to make it all straight instead of this curve that comes in. All right, perfect. Okay, so let's do that. So when this unloads, we want to get rid of this part right here. And we're only going to use the front part of the train now. Okay, we can take that out. Take this out. And we can even take that belt out. Makes it shorter. 
<clears throat> this one we can use for resources. This is why we want to kind of reposition the train track up here. So we can actually requisition the tracks because we have them in um, storage. A bunch of robots, you give me what they have. Yeah, look at that, there we go. Let's get rid of that, get rid of that, and that. Okay, and then we can grab our track here. We're going to have to move that, unfortunately. Let's see here. We do this, and basically the track will just come straight in. We'll have to stop right here. <laughs> Simple as that. How's the oil? Yeah, see the crude's being consumed now. So to slow that process, we can do that, uh, turn it off. We can actually p put in a couple efficiencies here. Put in a couple more here. And I think we can put them into these. Oops, not that many. Only two. One, two. I'm going to put them in manually because I only want two. Unless there's a way of doing half with like a left click or right click or anything like that. Uh, these will need it. Alright. Because this is all part of the production of everything. I think it's one of the ones that get used the most, so we should cut down there how much they use. Uh, these guys will always be used. Okay. How about up here? Um, research? Yes. Might as well. Uh, can we put them in here? Yeah, we can put them in here. As we should. How about in here? Yeah, I think so. Do this, this, this one, this one. Okay, perfect. How is this coming along? It looks like your resource is doing good still. No gaps. Our steel here needs more. <laughs> Plus 40% pollution. You almost you almost want to take out you almost want to take out this one and put in and if, this one that way then the added pollution kind of gets cut out right because with these efficiency modules uh, these ones the they reduce it by 30 percent looks like yeah 30 percent. So then, see, so this only adds 10% consumption, and we get an extra bonus. It's very slow, but we get an extra bonus. Let's see if we can replace that one out with uh, a better one. Uh, let's see, that one, that one. I'm going to replace one of these and put those ones in there. See, so there's so much stuff you can do in this game. It's just phenomenal, right? Like just all these different methods, and you know, you got these modules, and so you can improve efficiency. You can ah, I love it. <laughs> you know, this is what makes it fun. All this little the extra stuff. I feel, anyways. Okay, we still got 12 of those. Um, let's maybe throw a couple of these. Actually, these guys should be in here more than anything. Producing an extra... Uh, let's see here. Yeah, producing an extra... Your red modules. Alright, let's grab this guy. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. Modules distributed nicely. Got 12 left, so what else can we dump these into? We should dump a couple in here and a couple in here All right? And then we should throw a couple in here and then a couple in here because they continue to be used 
Um, and then these processor units as well. Let's see here. So if we grab these guys, let's put one, two, and this one, one, two. Perfect. Less energy is, is way better. Um, how many do we have here? We got five of those, two of those. Man, almost. So we got th three of those, two of those. Um, so we need three more of these speed modules. So what we could do. Just do that. Turn it off. Turn that. That I guess that doesn't matter. And that one off. Or this one. Or we do need that. Yeah. Okay. So let's do that. So that way, all these processor units will get thrown up there. How many do we have in here? Seventy only. Hmm. Oh, look at that. Looks like there's more coming down the line now. Because I think we added those. Yeah, these will always be the same with the steel. But I think those, I think we're noticing some increase with this stuff. I think. Hope so. What if we speed the, the action? No, that should be okay. Just kind of watching this to see how it, it operates. I think it's operating as expected. Let's kind of grab some more ammo here. Um, how much ammo do we want to grab? Maybe that much ammo? I do want to grab... Oh, look at a couple logistic robots. Not sure why I have those. want to grab... What do we have here? We had drillers, right? We also need a bunch of these guys. I'm going to grab it by hand. I'm not going to order it. Uh, drillers, where are we? Right here. Yeah, maybe grab a bunch. 39 sounds about right. Um, all these are going into here. I think these are already full, yeah. I do want to expand the robot network up. I kind of want to connect it. It's all connected, right? Hmm. Interesting. Kind of need to think about that for a bit here. Let's kind of wander up here. Hmm. We need to concentrate on these guys. So which means that this has to produce. Okay. No worries, no worries. Um, what happens if we throw... Hmm. But we need those. But we need 40 of them, right? So if we dump half into here... Um, how about if I do right click and your... Oh yeah, right click, okay. There's 40 of them there. Let's dump that into here. Yeah, we just need to make two, right? As soon as you make two of these bad boys, then we're going to be rocking and rolling with the new power suit. Which means I need to summon some of these alien artifacts. And may hey, yeah, let's finish off this episode with making the power suit and trying out the new, the uh, the goggles. Uh, let's see here. Come on, produce. <laughs> Takes a little, quite a long time for them, but it looks like they're, it's doing quite well. Let's order a stack of hundred of these bad boys now. And then we'll return all these kind of arms back the way they were. Okay, we got a hundred. We should be close to a hundred. 
Yep, perfect. Ten? No, 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 I need fifty of these. Okay. And it looks like just... Ah! Oh, two more speed modules. Come on, come on. <laughs> Funny. Okay. Let's run down this way. Man, we just need more, more circuits. So you need steel and copper. What we could do... Split the copper down. Nah. This stuff's really in the way, right? If this stuff wasn't here, we'd be able to expand this stuff out. I would change this all to be horizontal. I'd bring in the steel and the copper in. Yeah, this way. Hmm. I, I want to kind of redo a lot of this stuff, but maybe what we can do is build circuits for this thing. So what does that mean? Well, that means... Hmm. Do we have some buffer chests? I think we do. Yeah, okay. Yeah, these guys. These guys will be very important. So basically what we can do with these buffer chests, since they're passive providers, we're going to use that for our assembly. Maybe we'll put it down here. Let's clear out some trees. Uh, let's see here. Let's be very careful. We can't clear out any pipes. Um, yeah. Let's see here. Kind of tells you on the thing what it is. Um, if you see any other you know, items that show up in there, you know that you need to get rid of it. Okay, let's throw those there in there. Okay, um, let's just do a lot more of this stuff. Let's take out that. And let's take that out. And that. Perfect. Okay, let's check on those, um, these guys, these bad boys, uh, looks like we got what we need. Perfect. So let's restore these back. Okay. Um, okay. Perfect. And then these should be the pink ones, right? Um, we still have the number twos. We would need to research these ones, number three. Bullet shooting speed, bullet damage. We're getting close to kind of finishing off all the researches. That's pretty cool. Uh, how's this stuff running? This stuff's running good. Looks like just more of these boys. Yeah, I guess if we could augment this, produce... So let's make our suit. Can we make our suit? Yeah, we can. Here we go. Bang. Boom, bada, bing. Let's get rid of those. How's this coming along? Come on. I'm gonna make that suit. So let's let's take everything out of this one. Let's see how much more space we're gonna have. It's gonna be amazing. And take this out. Take these boys out. Take this out. Can I shift click? Oh yeah, I totally can. Okay, so we got that. So power armor is there. Power armor mark two. Bang. Look at this. Okay, so now let's right click. Ooh. Let's put that in place. Put that in place. Let's put this there. Let's put some storage up. And let's do some shields. Perfect. Okay. Excellent. Look at that. 
Now what do we need? Um, Energy Shield Mark Twos. Um, some more batteries. So batteries, we need those, which means steel and batteries. So we can summon batteries. Do we have 200 batteries in the system? Are batteries backed up or no? Where are we here? Um, yeah, see. You almost need a separate chest. So you almost need this to be kind of like a regular chest. Where are we here? Yeah, so you want basically the passive provider thing here. Then you want this chest to be here. Which then you want this like that. And then you want to limit this to that. So that way then your extra batteries would be in here to be called upon. And then here you have kind of like a buffer chest idea. And just the one right now to get this filled up so that way we have constant supply, right? And now we can kind of look at building stuff again. Let's see here. Um, we should have night vision goggles s uh, somewhere. Let's get rid of those. Night vision goggles. I think they should be in storage somewhere. Uh, let's see. Oh, I got red circuits. Can always use those. Um, let's actually throw them into here. Because we know that they'll get used up. Here's the goggles. Okay, let's open this back up. Let's put the night vision goggles in place. Anything like that. Let's do a Mark II shield. Do another battery. Um, getting more steel plates. Should we put in the solar panels? Probably might as well. Like so. I do want to build another portable fusion reactor. Which means we need alien artifacts. 30 of these bad boys. Um, and then we need more processing units. Go run and check over here. Yeah, so the, yeah, so it's gonna be cool that we're gonna have you be able to see at night now. So now battling and everything will be a lot more efficient, which is good. Um, 98, come on, we need two more. <laughs> which means that n none of this stuff up here is producing, but that is fine. That will produce as we go. That will take a long time. Come on. Because if we have another reactor, it means that we can... Let's see, if we have another reactor, 4x4 four four reactor, we can put in more batteries, maybe even the personal defense. Let's see, is there, there's a personal laser defense. Um, right here, this one. We can always do this one. It should take a bunch of research. It should be quick. And so yeah, so I think that's it. We'll call it here. So thank you everybody for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this episode as always. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye-bye.